Hi and welcome to Clarinet HQ. In this video today I'm going to be talking about the relationship between your reed and your mouthpiece. Um, there's a myth out there that states that the harder reed you play on, the better the clarinet player you are. Um, and that is not true. Um, I know many professional clarinetists that play on a wide range of reed sizes. Um, now, just a blanket statement to make things clear, when I talk about reeds in this video, I am not talking about the six month old moldy chipped clarinet reed that you know you should get rid of, but you haven't yet. I'm talking about a really good, solid, healthy reed um, that has potential, okay, but is not super old. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that out there first. Now, um, the relationship between your reed and your mouthpiece can vary because there are different reed sizes, which have to do with the thickness of the reed. But then there are also things about the mouthpiece, like um, the tip opening or the facing of your mouthpiece. So the tip opening of your mouthpiece refers to the distance, however tiny it is, between the tip of your mouthpiece and the tip of your reed. Okay, so if your tip opening between the tip of your mouthpiece and the tip of your reed, if it's really wide for a tip opening, then when the reed vibrates, it's gonna take longer uh, to get to the mouthpiece to vibrate up against it, okay? And that might make your reed feel harder, okay? Um, with, when we talk about the facing of the mouthpiece, we're talking about um, the amount of reed that is able to vibrate up against the mouthpiece. Those are two big variables that affect the relationship between your reeds and your mouthpiece. So what I'm going to do um, today is I'm going to play on different mouthpieces that have different tip openings and different facings, and I'm gonna play on them with the same reed. <laughs> Um, and that just kind of goes to show you that there can be pretty big differences between one reed and different mouthpieces. So I suggest that if the reeds that you're currently playing on um, are not fitting well with your mouthpiece, if they feel maybe too soft or if they all feel too hard, experiment with different reed sizes first. Don't go out and buy new mouthpieces because mouthpieces are expensive. Okay, so you wanna try the cheaper or less expensive option first. Um, so in conclusion, the relationship between your reeds and your mouthpiece is an important one. Um, and I suggest that if you are going to experiment with different reed sizes or different reed brands so that you can find that optimal relationship with your mouthpiece, have a friend listen to you play on them. Okay? Have a teacher listen to you play on them. Get a second opinion because what you hear in your little clarinet bubble might be different than what an audience would hear when you're performing. So that's something to consider. Um, something else is that there is a company called Legere Reads, which we are in no way uh, affiliated with and we are not sponsored by them. They're just a company that we like. Um, and they actually have an exchange program where you could purchase a few reeds and try that are different sizes and try them out, figure out which one fits best with your mouthpiece, and then you can send the other ones back. Um, and again, we're not sponsored by them, 
I just think it's great that there's an exchange program for reads. Um, so at the end of the day, the read that you are going to sound best on is going to be the read that makes you sound the best. Um, I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any more questions, please post them in the comments, and I'm happy to help out. Thanks.